Good morning my gardening friends. I've had a bit of a disappointment this morning. I had two beautiful baked potato squash growing and I came down this morning just to check and one of them was absolutely rotten and full of wood lice. But look at this one. Still got the one. Looking all right. Might get another. Might be a bit too late in the year now for another to get to a decent size. But even if I only get one, I've never grown them before so... <sighs> disappointed but my black russian tomatoes are coming on nicely they are huge never never grown them before and we bought them oops at a charity event but again look at the size of it it's just starting to change color now there's quite a good crop on it i'll tell you what i haven't had a glut by now i'm normally picking tomatoes and courgettes like they're going out of fashion but no not this year i do keep picking strawberries where have we gone? There he is. They're sneaking little runners all the way along the outside edge there. So I'm going to leave them. I've got them there as well. So I'm going to just leave them and let them do their own thing. Because they're not eating any meat. They're not taking up any extra space, really. As long as I'm careful where to put my feet. I've got a really good, good crop of tomatoes. They're just not ripening. We haven't had the sunshine. Now, it's beautiful today, but it's forecast to rain. But never mind. The vagaries of gardening. My strawberries, look at them. They have been amazing and I'm picking just a little handful every day, which is quite nice because an elderly neighbour of ours is in hospital, which is really, really very, very poorly. So we're taking little treats and things in. So a little handful of strawberries. She thoroughly enjoyed them the other day. The hedge is coming on nicely. The sunflowers, I won't go too high, there's the sun up there. These dahlias have been amazing. And I think we've got the last few of the day lilies. They're about finished now. But again, they've been amazing. I've just dug a load of that origeron, Mexican flea bin out for my friend. She likes it. I said, it's just a blooming daisy. Bloody nuisance spreads everywhere. But each to their own, she'll get sick quite quickly. Go this way. I'll tell you what I did though. I was just looking at Denise's over on up the potting shed. And I was just looking, Denise, about your... Um, peppers or chilies I can't remember I haven't had a single pepper or chili so I've just dug the plant out of the garden now it's chewed to bits but I've dug it out I've potted it up and I've taken it through the porch so see if we can get something coming it's probably way too late now but I'm going to overwinter it in the porch and just look after it a bit it's well it must have rained through the night because that's full again look can you hear the water in the pond it's beautiful it's what time is it 25 to 10 I've been up for hours Tony will be up just now. Our little dog's gone back home again. She went home yesterday. And it's really quite strange in the house without her. I need to find a space for all that pine bark. I am going to put some more around the garden. In fact, what I'm going to do, actually, is when I take all of the um, greenery down from there, once it all starts like dying back, I'm going to put a big mulch all the way across there of pine bark. Look at the apples on the tree. They're fabulous. Oh, let's get up here. My citrus are doing well out here. They'll all come in, obviously, for the winter, but they're doing really well out there. It's coming nicely, actually. That smells gorgeous. That has been beautiful all summer long. Fabulous. And the marigolds. Do you know, they grow like a weed. They're so pretty. Let's do a once around. Jerusalem artichokes everywhere. Must have rained heavily the other night because the water butts were full again and I'd emptied them. Completely emptied, emptied. So let's go for a good run around. Isn't that hedge beautiful? <laughs> Ooh, can you see now the level of the sun in the garden? You can really see it's dropping back behind the house. And it won't be, what, another month, maybe two, and we'll have no sun in the back garden at all. And that's when winter really pulls in because it's dark and dank and dreary. And a British winter is miserable. Anyway, happy gardening, folks.